Hello, YouTube. Chrome Freak here. Listen to local radio down here in South Florida. And actually news across the nation. And I listen to these pundits. And the way they spit out things to the point of they're actually arguing and screaming at the other people and they're completely dead wrong. One example is Bill O'Reilly. I don't know whose video it was this morning. I'm watching that. He's screaming at the top of his lungs about how can you buy 60,000 rounds of ammo. First of all, it was only 6,000 rounds of ammo, not 60, and it's not very hard for um, anybody who is into firearms to buy 6,000 rounds of ammo. That's not a lot of ammo, really. Um... But how that person should be called, there should be a system in place where if you buy that much ammo, um, the FBI should be notified. And it just, it's, it's baffling to me, these guys. And he's talking about anybody can go in and buy an AK-47, these heavy-duty rounds, he's calling them, and heavy-duty guns. First of all, an AK-47, the guns we buy are basically clones of AK-47s. There's a few out there to be found and bought uh, pre-banned that are actually full autos, but you're going to pay a lot, a lot of money for it. And that's not what the guy in Colorado had. You know, I mean, the, the laws are already there. They're already in place. For you to get a fully automatic machine gun, it's a class three, it's a tax stamp, and it's not that easy, and the government does get involved by giving you that tax stamp and doing an extensive background check on you. It takes about six months right now to get clearance for that tax stamp. And it just it boggles my mind. These guys, he, and him considered supposed to be a conservative, that's a joke, to get up there and spew what he was spewing, and people believe him. And this is how this is how we lose our freedoms. I mean, people believe that crap. It's uh, you can't go to any place, walk in and buy a, a fully automatic AK-47 and walk out with it. Nowhere, not no gun show, nowhere. It's um it's just unbelievable to me that he didn't do his research. And it's not only him, like I said, I got a local radio on and I hear them spewing what he was spewing. If that's twice I've heard it in the same morning, and I'm in South Florida, it's all over the country. And they're going to, they're going to, they're going to really, they are going to change some laws because of this, because of the ignorance. I, I just, I'm baffled by it. I, I am. Every gun bought in this country, whether it be semi-automatic or full automatic. The semi-autos, you have an instant background check system in place. They are. This guy that went crazy in Colorado, a nut job that killed people, bought all his guns legally. I don't care what, what was in place. Even if he did buy a fully automatic and took and waited the six months and got a tax stamp, guess what? This guy would have gotten it. He had nothing in his background to indicate anything was wrong with him. He'd been, the only time he had ever, ever had anything to do with the law, even messing with him, was a speeding ticket. This guy had a clean, completely clean background. He would have got any weapon he wanted to get, and he would have passed any background check. The, the checks are in place Okay, everything is in place. People are checked. Their backgrounds are checked. Every now and then, a loose screw falls through the cracks, unfortunately. Now, had other people around him been armed, and I don't care how much body armor he was wearing, if somebody would have fired back at this freaking whack job, it would have at least, at the very least, taken his mind off of basically shooting at sitting ducks and now you got him on the, at least a run or at least got his mind away from that for a minute and he's focusing on you I uh, 
I don't get it. I, I, I just, I, do, I don't get how people are so willing and, and eager to throw away freedoms for safety. I, it's, and, and you're no safer. That's what even get. that's even what's worse. You're no safer. I don't care what background, what was in place. If you want to kill people and go crazy, you're going to be able to do it. It's not the gun, it's not the knife, it's not the car, it's not the baseball bat. It's the person operating each one of those things. A nut job is going to be a nut job. The only thing to counterbalance that is good people. Somebody goes crazy, plans that, and, and executes it. He did it. He should hang. He should hang quickly. He should hang publicly and, and get it over with. And we should come down very harshly on these people that do this. And if you want to stop the mass killings, get rid of gun-free zones. End of story. Okay? I can understand the courtrooms. I, I actually do. And in there, you do have police officers in the courthouse. You have the court deputies who are armed and all that. So, hey, they're right there to respond instantly if something happens. But besides those places where there are armed officers at, at the ready immediately if somebody goes cracky dog, good citizens should be allowed to carry, period. Gun-free zones equal killing fields. End of story. Till we get it through the heads of these libtards and even conservatives who are saying there should be more laws in place. How many more laws could be in place? This guy had a clean background. What don't you understand about that? He would have passed any, any. Look at him. Look at the pictures of him. Oh, you could say he looks crazy now, but before he went crazy, this guy is as clean as he gets, man. At his age, he's going for a doctorate in college. This guy is, is I mean, he was clean. Clean as can be. Nobody would have suspected this. How can you legislate crazy? You can't. Never. You... <laughs> I'm so far beyond words on this, I, I, I'm just baffled anymore. And I'm convinced that they are going to come down on us. I am. And when good people allow this to happen, allow fear to dictate freedoms, willing to sacrifice freedoms because they're a little fearful, 